done it's ella and before i start today's video yes it's very obvious that i'm wearing a wig right now and i just wanted to say before i got into the whole story time and the whole fiasco um i thought i would say that i got this wig from everydaywigs.com and i'll have it linked down below um because it's like super nice and i like it anyways uh if you couldn't tell from the title of this video this is obviously going to be like a story time because I recently got a really bad haircut and if you have me on snapchat you probably already know the story that I'm talking about um, but if not you should add me on snapchat and you should keep watching because I feel like this story is kind of funny kind of sad and just overall like a good way to waste your time listening to me tell the story so I got an email for a modeling job at a hair salon downtown uh, and it was a salon that I had heard of before so I was like oh this is awesome like I'm going to go to this job I'm gonna get paid I'm gonna get my hair done I'm gonna get some good photos I'm gonna look good and overall I was just excited so I respond to the email and I was like I'm available I would love to uh, do this blah 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 and I end up getting confirmed for the job the way that this worked was there were three like appointments in which I had to go to the salon. I had to go the first day for a consultation where we would talk about what they wanted to do to my hair for the shoot. The second day was the day that I actually had a hair appointment um, where I would go in and get my hair done. And then the third day was a few days later and that was the day of the actual shoot where they would, you know, rewash and style my hair and we would have the full on shoot with like a stylist and some other models and so I go in for the day of the consultation and there was already another model there and she was like super nice we were just like sitting waiting for our appointment with each of our stylists um, and may I add like I'm not going to say the name of the salon um, but the salon is like a very very nice salon and they do really nice work and it was just very bougie to like be in that environment like I could never afford to like go and get my hair done there by choice so I go into my consultation appointment with my stylist and he's just like oh we really don't want to change your hair just kind of add some low lights some highlights you're like blonde is looking a little bit dirty we want to make it really bright and fresh um, maybe just even out your layers a little bit just really clean it up and make it look a little bit nicer than it is now and I was like okay that's perfect like I'm getting paid my hair is gonna look pretty much the same but better like this is really awesome not to mention the fact that if they wanted to have changed my hair a lot um, they wouldn't have been able to just because I'm under a contract with my agency where I can't like constantly be changing my hair and I go in uh, within the next few days for the actual hair appointment and on that day I think I was the only model there because every model is getting their hair done on a different day or at a different time and so I go in and I now have two people working on my hair one of them is like one of the owners of the salon and the other one is just a stylist um, and the, uh, the stylist who originally had done my consultation who was the stylist doing my hair was like well how would you feel about like bangs or some fringe and I have had bangs in the past and like they always look fine like for the first few days and then as soon as you start like having to style them yourself like it just goes downhill and then you're committed to them for like multiple multiple months trying to grow them out and I just knew like that's not what I wanted I knew that I couldn't get bangs because of my contract so it's just like no like I really don't want bangs like this is not what we agreed to at all why are you bringing this up now like we had the consultation we didn't talk about bangs you know so he was like yeah like I understand that's a big commitment like I'll bring over you know the owner because she's also working on your hair and we can like figure out a different solution because she really wanted you to have fringe and so we end up agreeing to you know some longer pieces in the front that I could like wear to the side like swipe like side swept fringe like very like just like long blending into my natural hair like it would have been really subtle and I was like that's fine I guess like that's easy enough I can tuck it behind my ear like it'll be long enough that's fine so we go through the whole process of coloring my hair it's looking really good the color looks really bright and fresh no longer so dirty it's just like very nice 
bright beachy blonde with some low lights it looks very natural very clean I love it I'm like actually so happy with my hair and we get to the haircut part and it's going so well it's not too short it looks the same practically just a lot healthier a lot nicer and you know they blow dry my hair and I'm really happy with it <laughs> and then the woman you know the owner of the salon She's like, okay, now we're going to do those long pieces we talked about. We're going to do the fringe. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, it's not going to be that different from what it is now, you know? And so she turns me around from the mirror where I can see what they're doing to my hair. And she tells me to close my eyes because she doesn't want me to get anxious at scissors coming near my face. I should have known this is where things would go wrong because I couldn't see what they were doing. But I feel the scissors go up to my eyebrow, up to my, like, between my eyebrow and my eyeball, like, my brow bone, like, this is where the scissors were resting. And I just feel her cutting my hair. And I'm like, that is not long. That is not side swept. That is just bangs. Like, she's just cutting right here. Like, snip, snip. But only here. Like, she's just cutting it above my left eye. Like, she's not going all the way across, like, full fringe. Like, she's just cutting here. And then I feel it going down. So, like, they're literally cutting, like, an asymmetrical bang into my hair. And I just automatically know that this is not what we had agreed to. And I literally, as soon as they turn me around, I go up on my phone and I pull up everydaywigs.com because they had emailed me before about, you know, sending me a wig. And I was just like, no, like, I'm not going to wear a wig. I have no reason to wear a wig. And I knew in that moment that this is not the haircut that I wanted. This is not the haircut we agreed to. And I'm unhappy. So I'm going to get a wig. And so I got this wig. Anyways, they proceed to finish styling my hair. And I look in the mirror. And I really do have, like, an asymmetrical bang going on. Like, there's literally just a chunk here. And then the longer pieces that we had talked about are, like, right here. And I really don't know if this was the intended style of my haircut because even the stylist that had talked to me in my consultation did not seem that happy with the finished result. So I really don't know what they were going for. <sighs> but I was really unhappy. I literally, if you have me on Snapchat, you know, like I was literally crying on the train home. I was like, what did they do to my hair? Like this is going to take forever to grow out. It looks so bad. And I was literally trying to hide it by like pushing it to the side, but it just like didn't work because this whole chunk right here was just like short bangs. I was just really unhappy and I had to live with that hair for like a few days before the actual shoot. So you know I was pulling all my French braid pulled back looks to hide the fact that I had like half bangs, you know? Anyways, the day of the shoot finally comes. And I'm talking to all the other models about like what they did to their hair, like what they got done. And everyone else is just like, you know, I just got like a gloss and a trim or they just had my hair a shade darker and I got a trim. One girl was just like, they didn't do anything to my hair. I got to the consultation and they liked it. So we just kept it the way it was. And I'm just sitting there like, bruh, like how on earth did I get played so hard? How did I take such a fat L into getting my hair cut like this? Like what went wrong like what's happening <sighs> I get into the chair where they're going to like style my hair or like wash my hair and the same stylist is like you know like how are you liking your haircut like like how do you like it I'm just like honestly this isn't like what I expected like I'm really not happy with it um I don't know what to do like it's gonna be really hard to grow out and you know he was like you have two options like you can either like have a full bang or you can just like grow it out the way it is and I was like I'm not gonna like live <laughs> with half bangs you know for like six months or however long it's gonna take to grow this out so I just agreed to do the full fringe that they wanted to do originally my agency was like not very happy about it when I like told them but it all kind of worked out in the end because the full fringe was pretty cute um obviously I'm still wearing this wig because like I'm not trying to have a full fringe all the time like it's really hard to have such like a heavy bang like right here and like not style it all the time 
yeah i'm just really frustrated so catch me wearing this super cute wig from everydaywigs.com um it's really nice super thick and healthy it feels better than my own hair um yeah but moral of the story is like always be verbal with your hairstylist because I definitely stayed too quiet and I feel like I could have stopped the situa situation in its tracks but at the end of the day I got paid money so yeah I guess all's well that ends well and at the end of the day I have this super cute wig so yeah I'm going to leave all of my social media links down below as well as a link to everydaywigs.com because they have some really cute styles and I'm probably going to end up getting more just because they're really fun to play around with and take pictures in and they're generally pretty affordable so yeah I'm a fan. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.